Uh, what I've done on Amazon is I bought the least expensive 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery that I could find. One of them was 159 after you took a $20 coupon. It's, I just looked at Amazon this morning and it still has a $20 coupon. So it came to $159. The other one was uh, about $20 more. And I have no idea which one is in this box because I bought the cheapest one that doesn't, it's not a smart battery, doesn't have a, a Bluetooth on it. That was the one for uh, 159 and the other one was about $20 more. And that has a BMS in it. And I don't know which one this box is, but we're going to open it up and find out how it was packaged and everything else. Which one this one is? Okay. I don't know if this could be put in 48 volts. It's got 24 volts. But that's what my application is going to be. Okay. okay. Now this happens to be the one. There's no extra bolts. Looks like it has eight millimeter bolts. And this is the one that d does not have the low temperature protection, does not have the BMS. This is the 100 amp hour battery. All right, let's see if I can get this checked here and what our voltage is. Uh, ship from the factory. Let's see what do we got here. Perfect. 13.2 volts. Great. What I'm going to do is fully charge this. And I'll set that up in just a sec. Just so you know, I am going to charge this up with the, um, this is a 20 amp lithium iron phosphate charger made by Time USB, which I've bought five of their batteries before and used four of them in our lawnmower, our ride, riding lawnmower. Okay. I'm going to charge this up. This goes up to 14.6 volts. So after this is fully charged, we're going to do a capacity test with this little unit right here. And this is quite accurate. And we're going to see if it produces 100 amp hours as it claims. Now this was $159 plus I had to pay tax. Came to a, about $168. And it does have free shipping. So, the, I would pronounce this Mibson, but I'm going to call it M-J-B-S-A-N, in case there's a different pronunciation to it. So, after this is fully charged, we'll uh, do a capacity test and check it out. I just want to point out that this is, a, this is the one that has the Bluetooth. And actually, I did pull it up. I'm going to get you closer here so you can see. It was at uh, about 50% state of charge when I first started charging it. It's charging at 19.04 amps right now. Uh, exciting, I'm glad to see that. Tells what the battery is, what our balance is. Uh, it's nice, it does come with a little uh, QR cord you scan and so you can pull this app up, you have to sign in for it. Oh, pretty nice, I always like batteries with Bluetooth if you can get it and this is a really a reasonably priced battery uh, you know you, our taxes are a little bit different than the average person but 
$182 with a $20 coupon brings it down to $162 plus tax and it has free shipping from uh, Amazon. I'm going to be excited. I hope this pulls 100 uh, amp hour or more capacity out of it. Okay, the charging is done. I stopped it when one of the cells got to th uh, 3.65. And here is the data. It says that we put a hundred, its capacity is 108. It says it's 100% charged. And when I first started off, the uh, millivolt difference was 0 0.0, you know, 1 millivolt. Now it's 27, 28. And here are the cells. And number one cell right here got to 3.65 is when I shut the charger off because it was 14.4. So I think it would go, I didn't want any over cells overcharging. And that is the advantage of having a BMS that you can read the cell voltages. Um, nice. Anyway, it says the capacity is 108 amp hours. We will see. I will plug it in and uh, we'll test it let me give you the dimensions again uh, going across here is 12.83 the height is 8.46 and the depth is 6.81 or 173 uh, millimeters 200 uh, 326 and that would be about 215 from there to there that weighs uh, 23 and a half pounds. As you can see, I've reset it to zero, zero, and I'm gonna discharge it. The maximum this will do is 12 amps. And now the voltage is down to 13.72, and we will commence. And as I said, this is very accurate. We're at 101 amp hours, and Look how well the cells are balanced, if we can see that. Here we go. We're 6 millivolts out of sync, but that's really good. And since we've got 6% left, and the voltage is still hovering around 12. Now this is set to go down to 2.5 volts which is 10. It'll drop fast. Now it's down to 5. So it's definitely got more capacity than 100 amp hours, which is good. We'll keep going. Success! It went down to one of the uh, cells went down to 2.5 and shut off at 106 amp hours. Took 8 hours and 54 minutes at uh, 12 amps. I'm very pleased with this uh, this battery. In fact, I am going to order another one. And get that twenty dollars off. Unfortunately, you can't order like four of them and get twenty dollars off each. You only get it off the first battery you order. But anyway, uh, this this seems like a winner to me. I'm very pleased with it. And we will talk to you later. Thank you for watching.